Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about refresh history reporting or creating a monthly schedule refresh in Power BI. If you are new here, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. First of all, I will create a sample data flow where I will demonstrate how to get its refresh history or how to apply a monthly schedule refresh on it. You can choose any data source or use your existing data flow. Since I am interested only into refresh history, I am using Enter Data option to create this small data flow. I will name it as Refresh History Data Flow. It is important to refresh your data flow when you create it first time. So I have done that part. All right, let me now show you what are the options available inside my default schedule refresh settings. Since we know that we only have option to apply weekly or daily refresh and then set time, but we don't have a monthly refresh option here or day of the month option. Before I show you how to get refresh history and report, let me first show you how you can schedule a monthly refresh in your Power BI data flow or dataset. Log into another powerful tool from Microsoft Power Platform Stack, Power Automate. Click on Create and then select Schedule Cloud Flow. I will name it as Data Flow Refresh. Below you will get all the options to schedule your refresh. For now, let's select monthly and then click on create. Next step is to refresh my data flow for that I can search for refresh and then select refresh data flow. You also have option to refresh a PBI dataset as well. This will prompt you to enter group type, group name or workspace name and then data flow name. Click on save. And before we start creating solution to get refresh history, let's check if this scheduled flow is working as expected or not. For now, I have triggered it manually, and you can see the trigger status here. Let's check inside our Power BI workspace and see if this is working or not. Our trigger is successful, and it may take few seconds to hit the refresh for your data flow. As that you can see, it is getting refreshed automatically. All right, now we will move on to create the solution to get refresh history. For that, I will create a streaming dataset using API option. I will select API and then click on Next. Here I need to name my streaming dataset. I will keep as reporting all refresh history. Then I will define what all I need to record. Like data flow ID, data flow name, refresh type, refresh status, start time and end time. It is important to mention the required data type. It will automatically generate the schema. Then enable this toggle button for historical data analysis. With this, we will create a report using this dataset. We know that currently we don't have any data inside our streaming dataset, but we will feed the refresh history data in a while. I am saving this report as refresh history for now. Next step is to jump inside Power Automate and create an another flow to get the refresh history. So with an automated cloud flow type, I will choose my trigger as when a data flow refresh is completed. Next step is to select the group type, workspace name and my data flow name. For my second step, I will search here at a row because I wanted to add a row for each refresh status inside my Power BI streaming dataset. I will choose this, add row to dataset, and then I need to again mention my workspace name, streaming dataset name, and then the table name. With this, you will see all your field names which you created while creating the streaming dataset is visible here. And you need to map it with the dynamic contents accordingly. These dynamic contents are coming from our first trigger step which is nothing but the data flow refresh history information on each trigger. Now you can save this flow and test it. Since this need a data flow refresh history, let's manually trigger an on-demand refresh from our Power BI workspace and see if it is able to capture the refresh information. As that you can see, we are now able to get the refresh history in our report. Let's trigger the data flow refresh from Power Automate and check how this looks in our Power BI report. I can use my previously created flow for this testing. This refresh has been captured and we can see that the refresh type is showing as via API. It means it will be limited to the maximum schedule refresh allowed for your workspace. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.